In this session, we are going to see about a detail about types of signals. We have already discussed that there are th three types of signals that is continuous or analog signal, discrete signal and the third one is the digital signal. So let's see first what is one by continuous or analog signal. Continuous or analog signal. And what is the difference between the continuous signal and discrete signal? So generally it occurs for continuous value of time as time varies from minus infinity to infinity. That means at every instant amplitude is known. So it occurs for continuous value of time as time varies from minus infinity to plus infinity to. at every instant amplitude is known and that at every instant amplitude is known So a signal which is continuous in both time and amplitude is called as continuous signal. A signal which is continuous in both time and time and amplitude. is called as continuous signal. For example, x of t equals to e power minus 2t. E of t. So if you take this, the graph will look like this. This is the amplitude 1. And this will go on like this. Till infinity. So it is a continuous signal and one more thing is there if you take this y of t zero one two piecewise or discontinuous signal that means at the point of discontinuity that means at which sudden change is there at that point amplitude is not defined so this is piece wise or discontinuous signal that means at the point of discontinuity amplitude is not defined at the point of discontinuity amplitude is not known is not defined so continuous signals are also called as analog signals because of similarity and next coming to the discrete signal. So what is the basic difference between the continuous signal and discrete signal is. Here it is continuous only in amplitude but discrete in time. So it is continuous in amplitude but discrete in time. that means we have time only as integer values and here we will represent like x of n y of n in that formula. So why we need a discrete signal? So we need a discrete signal to store the information that is continuous signals are to be transformed to the discrete signals. 
every continuous signal should be transformed to the discrete signal to store the information. And the multiplexing is easy with the discrete signal. Multiplexing is easy with the discrete signal. So reasons to have discrete signal. So the first one is to store the information to store the information and the second one is multiplexing is easy is easy with discrete so how can you convert a signal continuous signal to discrete signal so this is x of t that means it is in continuous domain. So it can be converted to the discrete signal using a sampler. So it will be changed to x of nts. So t should be replaced with nts. And whatever the frequency of sampler you are using that should be greater than or equal to 2 times of maximum frequency of this continuous signal. So suppose, let's see an example, uh, previous example only take, previously we took the example x of t equal to e power minus 2t. Now keep t equal to nts, so x of nts is equals to e power minus 2, in place of t you should keep nts, u of nts. So which is let ts is equals to 1. So x of n is equals to e power minus 2n u of n that means it can be so whatever the continuous signal it is there like this so e power minus 2 e power minus 4 e power minus 6 it is discreted in time intervals 0 at 1 at 2 at 3 so this is 0 at at 0 the value is 1 at 1 e power minus 2 at 2 it is e power minus 4 at 3 it is e power minus 6 like this so we can discard the samples in between this in between this we discarded the sample so we can discard the samples having same amplitude through a process called decimation So that means what is going to be decimation means suppose you are having a signal like this. So which are points having same amplitude. So it can be discarded using a process called decimation. So why we need to discard means by decreasing the number of samples width can be saved. So any continuous signal time can be changed to discrete time by a method called sampling. But it doesn't mean that every discrete signal comes from a sampled version of continuous time. So there will be some predefined discrete signals also. For example, if you are doing an experiment to record the temperature with respect to time for every one hour. So that is a discrete signal. So there will be predefined discrete signals also. Predefined discrete signals. That means not every discrete signal comes from the sampled version of continuous signal. Example. If you are doing an experiment, if we are doing an experiment to record the temperature with respect to time for every one hour. So it will be like this. Suppose at first hour it will temperature is like this. 
again it came like this again it went like this so it is nothing but an discrete signal what is discrete signal and the last type of signal is digital signal so what is meant by digital signal so it is just digital signal means it is discrete both in time and as well as in amplitude discrete both in time and amplitude strictly speaking discrete in time discrete in time quantized amplitude quantized amplitude so if you want to convert a continuous amplitude to discrete amplitude you need a quantizer quantizer so it will be changes to discrete amplitude so these are the three types of signals we have